WKTT. Because the battle for America begins here. WKTT 1066. We know the truth. Justice is a game. Just like the game of chicken. You've got to go full steam ahead and hope the other person runs out of energy or money first. It takes money to play the game right and get out on top. In this court, it's a world where good deeds go undone. Morality is severely punished. And random luck can destroy your life. I'm Judge Grady, and this is Just or Unjust. The excitement of a court show. He kicked me in the stomach, Your Honor. The injustice of an American courtroom. I think the wetlands are overprotected anyway. I find you a million dollars for wasting the court's time, you afternoon scum. The tension of a desperate network television show. I don't care what your definition of sodomize is. I'm gonna show you mine. All packed together with the incredible excitement of a game show. Do you love money? Do you? Do you? <laughs> Yes? Well then, unbutton that blouse. This is Just or Unjust. Real plaintiffs and defendants in a radio court of law. Okay, let's get on with this. Welcome to my courtroom. I'm Judge Grady. Let's get some justice. Right. Today, we've got Williams Jones against Williams Jones. Case number 453. Let's get going. I've already read your opening statements. Judge Grady, my name is Lori Williams Jones. I've been married to my husband, Chuck, for two years, and all he does is play that wizard online game, Loot and Wank. He plays until 2 in the morning sometimes. When he comes to bed, he's all grabbing my ass and treating me like a troll, screaming, Too damage, too damage. Check that ass in the air, troll. I'm about to get aggro. Can you help me, Judge? I love my husband, but I'm not an avatar. Look, you are an avatar. Let's get that straight. We all are. And the sooner people understand that, the better. The reason that your husband is in there looting and wanking and slinging his wizard junk around is because you got fat and stopped being sexy. I wouldn't even bang you. And I've done a lot of trolls in my time. Look at yourself, girl. Do something positive for yourself. Get some plastic surgery. Chuck, what have you got to say for yourself? My name is Chuck Williams Jones. I think my wife is possessed by Satan. She doesn't refill the ice tray, she hates my parents, she stopped giving me head. She spends all my money and thinks she's doing me a massive fucking favor sending out Christmas cards. I mean, come on! Give me a break. They just raised postage again. Ain't nobody giving a shit about a Christmas card. Even the ones with a picture of your fucking dog. I don't need to see a picture of your fucking dog in a Santa hat. God damn you. Can you help my wife see what's up? Hmm, interesting. And the court notices that you have a hyphenated last name. Williams hyphen Jones. Was that her idea? Yes, it was, Your Honor. I was born Chuck Williams. I went along with it because that's only fair, you know? I mean, I totally understand that comes from a time when women were considered property. Women are defective and misbegotten, but I don't own her. I would like to own a human being someday. I mean, like, you know, I could have me a young, nubile Filipino boy, and we could sit in my tropical hut and play games and decide who does what by playing hands-free catch the quarter. <sighs> Look what's happened to you. Why you gotta hyphenate? Why you gonna be half a man? She took away your manhood, she emasculated you good and proper. You got some bitch's name on half your shit. Do you pee sitting down? Um... Do you pee sitting down? Well, we're equal partners and it's not fair that she has to take the toilet up, so I don't really mind. Equal partners? You gonna give a man a woman's last name? I'm surprised you haven't started growing tits. For the love of all that is holy in the world! You know the deal, Judge. I have to agree, I'll never get laid again. We have an equal household, Your Honor. Equal. Equality. He wears tampons whenever I do so that we may both experience the same burden when I'm on my flow. Equality? Give me back that vote, woman. Let me guess who's at work busting his ass all day. Let me guess who makes the most money. I know. It's Chuck. It's the man. You know who has made the most money throughout history? The man. Who have been the great leaders? Men. Maybe you had Cleopatra, but Egyptians live in triangles, tetrahedrons and shit. A triangle is not manly. Who fought the best wars? Men. Who make the best murderers? Men. Who invented the plague? Men. We done it all, bitch. We run this show, and I don't give a 
fuck who knows it. So what if he wants to come home and spend time online with his guild and pleasure elves running around with his orky friends? Let it. Well, family and our children are the most important. Our children depend on us. We should be protecting and coddling our children, never letting them out of our sight, keeping electronic tabs on them at all times, making them paranoid and neurotic. It's our duty. Children are our future. The future? Where's your jetpack, boy? I don't have one, Your Honor. That's right, because technology is a lie sent by liberals to kill us. Apart from weapons technology, which we use to kill other people. There is no future. And you, woman, you disgust me with your liberal ideas. You ever had a three-way? No, Your Honor, I haven't. That's revolting. No, it is not. What's disgusting is the way you get yourself a dog and the dog hits puberty and suddenly you realize the dog's undercarriage is really big. Or when you watch a nature show and see two elephants mating. Or when you vomit a bit in your mouth and have to swallow it. This is insulting! This is a court of law! All you've given me is a lot of dog penis and woman hating. What is wrong with you, Judge Grady? I'm a judge. What exactly did you expect? This isn't a courtroom, it's a studio. And I'm here not to only administer justice, but also get ratings. Listen to me, I'm a judge. I'm wearing a black dress, aren't I? Do you have any idea what I'm doing up under this bench while I'm looking down at you? Ooh, I'm gonna have to retire to my quarters and think about this. While Judge Grady's back in his chambers making his decision, let's talk to a few people in the courtroom audience. Madam, what do you think? Who's in the right here? I can really empathize with Lori. Guys only care about women in revealing medieval clothing who take it up the back door. And what about you, sir? Uh, I really like the part where they talk about elephants doing it. We'll be back after this on Just or Unjust. WKTT 1066. Because the liberal media wants to give your country to an illegal immigrant. WKTT. We know the truth. Just or unjust! We're back on Just or Unjust. Judge Grady is coming back into the courtroom with his decision. Okay, all rise. Please be seated. I thought about this for a while and I've come to a decision. Will you both please approach the bench? Okay, Chuck. Face Lori. Now, Chuck, raise your hand. Repeat after me. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. And I will always remember. And I will always remember. How good this felt. How good this felt. Now smack that bitch! Ow! What the fuck? <laughs> All right, that was just for my own pleasure. I just love domestic violence. Okay, time for just or unjust. Courtroom audience names the game. The defendant and the plaintiff have to play it. How should we decide this case? Fist fight! Three way! Guaranteed! Duel! 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 Wow! Seems pretty unanimous. That's my kind of jury. We're gonna have to go with duel or no duel. Solving things the American way. Here are your pistols. Winner gets a thousand dollars and a flight to- <laughs> No! I've had enough of you, stupid whore. <laughs> I give you the signal. We got time to fill. We don't go to commercial for three minutes. Don't you watch TV, son? Now I got a dead planet on my courtroom floor. I'm gonna send you to 30 days while you think about what you did to my ratings. Let's see what our studio audience thinks. Madam, was that justice? I don't know. They came here with a minor domestic dispute about him playing too many computer games. Then, under Judge Grady's incredible jurisdiction, he ended up shooting her in the back. Yes, I'd say that was justice. Great! Join us for the next episode of Just or Unjust. Remember, it ain't justice till I say so. And today, we saw real justice practiced by real people in a real court of law. So if you go breaking the law, remember, the justice entertainment system may be watching. Just or Unjust! See you next time on Just or Unjust.